Embrace the strange. I didn't enter the 6x6 six six canvas pad strategically or else it would have been four paintings done in the course of five days. And that's my only regret, that I did not do it that way. I can vaguely recall doing eight on one day and four on several others, and two on the first day. Take me there, set the tone for the rest to follow. Beyond We See. The title for the series it belongs to is still pending. Covered in speaking dreams, at last meets Amy Winehouse, Wake Up Alone, to expound on a feeling of something that feels too good to be true. The Star in the Fall, the title is inspired partly by the book I was reading. It was a pet name for a character, but also the tarot card and Darling. I also know that Starling is a bird, but it sounds magical, like a version of Darling, although I like the quote, to be nobody's darling, I think to belong to the fall is an invaluable, enchanting thing. The ease of free, very much felt. More, no end in sight. A bit abysmal. Sort of a spiritual series that I've decided to call archaic. I spined of the aforementioned untitled series. Limerence, the start of another series. Roulette, my avatar evolved from gamble. Procession, an odd, intriguing direction. The feeling of existence being sort of a death tour anyway. It's a lifelong thing. Actions speak in full. Dark, witty, synchronicity. Soul-bearing of my newly named Lips Red series. Dread and sorcery, so far a standalone, therefore a standout. That's typically how that goes. Every part of me, the subseries of Lips Red. At least I'm free. I almost don't believe I made this. It's so nice. It's so nice. Vulnerability eats me. Another Lips Red fragment. Figment. Clockwork. I've chosen to let it live, and so it lives on. The Danger of Wanting. Another Hyde series piece, if I'm remembering correctly. Teeming Potential, Limerick Sibling, Metal, The End. The series Lips Red was my favorite because I like seeing the universe come together with each piece. There's a new depth to the feeling. Similarly, the sub-series Hyde, like Hyde, but also a reference to a poem turned song in which I say skin to hide, hide like animal. The individual standout pieces to me were At Least I'm Free and Dread and Sorcery. What were your favorites? Why? How do they make you feel? Do tell. I'm curious when my art awakens in others. And if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.